And the beginning is basically, um, it's a review document for um, calculus uh, students uh, wanting to improve their ability to take derivatives. Um, it's, um, it's from a, a guy that's on YouTube. His name is, I'm not sure what his name is, but his tag is black pen, red pen. He's pretty good at using pens, by the way, and he uses a whiteboard. But anyway, he presents problems, and he goes through them, he jokes around, yada, yada, yada. And um, he, he creates these documents, and what I did was I decided I was going to share it with you guys. And so I, I, I typed it up. I, um, I, you know, certainly, if you want to, you can actually watch his uh, videos. If you like, I think he's good. But anyway, it's about reviewing derivatives. So I, I put, you know, Drew's down, you probably should know from, you know, basic calculus. Um, I also have little videos on the side if you need to see me derive any of these um, derivatives. I can do that for you by watching the videos. All right, there's also um, an optional section. Although at other schools this is, is covered, at Essex for some reason we don't do hyperbolic functions. But what I do over here is I actually um, present the optional material. And you know, the more options you take, the better. But you'll see that there's um, a lot of derivatives over here that you're probably not aware of at this point, and that's the hyperbolic functions. Basically what I do is I give two definitions, and from these two definitions, I derive all these things over here, all right? Now again, I want to go back to this, um, this guy, uh, black pen, red pen. What he does, he does all, there's 100, I think 101 problems. He does all 101 problems in one session. It takes him about six hours to get through it. Certainly he goes through other things during the six hours, including taking breaks to drink things, but uh, he goes through each problem like one after another. So I, I do the same thing, but what I do is I break it up. All right, so for example, I'll do problem number one and a little video on the side, and it's a little tiny video. You could watch it if you need to. What I would do is I would do the problem, select the correct answer. Of course, we highlighted in bold here what the correct answer is, but the bottom line is you should be able to get these fairly quickly. Now, by, by the way, some are more difficult than others. So let me just scroll through the document for you. But there's a series of questions. I'm going to say you realize that some are more difficult. Than others. Some are pretty simple, by the way. Some are just you know painfully difficult to get through. And I want to get to those painfully difficult ones to get through. And let me just get there. I'm at 80, 89. There's some hyperbolic functions over here. So at, at this point, 89, multiple choice. It's multiple choice up to 89, I believe. 90. 90 is multiple choice, too, though. And then 91, they want you to use definition of derivative. Easy problem, no big deal. 92, easy problem, no big deal. 93, easy problem, no big deal. 94, easy problem, no big deal. Right? 95, easy problem, no big deal. It's one you didn't calc one. Right? Same thing, oh, wait, this isn't so easy. So I'm going to say 96, they didn't do it in calc one. Probably if you're not reading your textbook, you probably wouldn't know how to do this one over here. But they use definition of derivative, and I did that here. So I went through the work. There's also a video of me doing the problem at the whiteboard over here, if you want to watch it. Don't feel obligated to do that, though. All right? This one's a killer, though. I want to point out why it's a killer. This one is certainly not presented at Essex County College. Uh, what do you mean by that? The teachers, uh, it, for the most part, if they're going to do this thing, they do it a different way, but they do not do it by definition. Right? Now, certainly, um, the guy that created this document does it by um, definition. And certainly, I do it also by definition over here. I start out, you know, certainly, I'm not going to do it the same way he does it, but it's the intent's the same, by the way. I basically go through, um, you know, talking through it. You can, again, you can watch that video. This is a little bit longer, though. You can see how much detail's in the problem over here. A lot of blah, 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 blah. Hopefully, you're, uh, if you're paying attention over there, you get to what we expect to get, all right? Uh, same thing for 98, more involved problem, difficult to get through. You can see how much work goes into that. Uh, 99, you've definitely seen that in your Calc 1 class. 100, you've definitely seen your Calc 1 class. By the way, something like this over here, and something you can look at things and say, I don't know what that is. Is that a typo? You know, I would say, you know, basically read. That's what you got to do. You see something, you understand it? Read about it. And again, you can read about it in the blue area if you like. But I go through this derivative as well, by the way. It's a more difficult one, but I go through it. I do get the answer in the end, all right? So the bottom line is the document's there to help you improve uh, your skills of taking derivative and also your skills of taking a multiple choice exam, all right? I would go through it, do as many problems as you possibly can. Uh, you may want to avoid um, the hyperbolic functions because it's not going to be tested at Essex. But the bottom line is other problems, like sort of like this one over here, 
you should be able to get the derivative pretty quickly, get the correct answer. And again, if you need support, you could watch the videos if you want or look at my work. There's really very little work down. Most of my work is done in the videos, by the way. Thank you very much for paying attention.